your buddy Peace and Harmony here with you here today. How the uh, narcissist, how the psychopath uh, wins you over. Um, I know we've covered somewhat similar to this in previous videos, however I want to take a look at um, some more of the different tactics and some of the different behaviors that the narcissist and the psychopath engage in. So you can see that a lot of this is really easy to be identified um, once you uh, kind of identify it within what you've just experienced um, after having exposed the narcissist or psychopath in your life. And then um, not only after, you know in having um, identified that, but I, I want you to kind of get a sense of, of the feeling. Um, because the feeling um, you'll really begin to pick up with in the narcissist once you've dealt with it a couple times. Uh, the first is the the feeling of it's um, all kind of like a one way um, a one way street with them, a one way relationship. Um, even from the beginning, even when you feel like you're getting something um, you're getting something out of it with them, or you know you feel like um, you know you're turned on, or you are um, you know hitting it off together. Things are going great. Things are going fantastic. You guys are getting along like two peas in a pod. Oh my God, like this guy is gorgeous. This guy is wonderful. Um, we are just getting along famously together. And you know, you just, you know, you're like, this is, this guy is fabulous. Like I feel just so unique and I feel so wonderful around this guy. Um, I just feel so um, like we're a match made in heaven. I mean, you start having these feelings. Those feelings from the beginning, um, you have to pay attention to because really most healthy, normal relationships aren't going to feel that way when it comes to a, a romantic relationship. Usually the, you know, um, you know, yes, you you might have like love at first sight experiences, but the idea that, um, you know, here's this person who all of a sudden, they seem to have all these qualities and it's moving very quickly you know, that can be a good sign that this person is a narcissist or a psychopath and that they are, um, you know, trying to do one over on you. Um, that, that very first feeling um, is kind of a common, paid, uh, common trait or a common, common pattern we see in um, the narcissist and psychopathic endeavors when they begin to target uh, somebody, when they begin to kind of pin down somebody and they get to you know start to suss them out um, the other is you know when you kind of realize it and pay attention that the relationship can be very one-sided and that um, they are you know really strictly talking about themselves when you really get down to it and you find that you're the one who's kind of taking second fiddle to them um, those are some good signs that you're dealing with a narcissist or a psychopath also has to do with your energy. Um, if you find, if you feel like you're kind of like, you know, giving away too much of yourself to this person, um, losing too much of your own self-respect, if you can, can begin to catch yourself in this, you'll really begin to identify it because oftentimes the narcissist or the psychopath who has grandiose you know, delusions of grandeur, I mean, that doesn't have to mean that they think that they're gonna be you know, like Michael Jackson, or that they're going to be, you know, like Elvis Presley, like, you know, king of pop or king of rock and roll, uh, meaning that they tend to be self grandiosing and in the fact that they, you know, live bigger than life, um, they talk bigger than life, um, you know, not necessarily just dreamers, but the fact that, like, to the exclusion of you, I mean, to the minimizing of you, to the, uh, degradation of you to the fact that like you're just only a fan and you know you are kind of like they're they're kind of saying that you're like inferior like you just are so cool to be able to hang out with me they if, if you're feeling that way chances are you're dealing with a narcissist or psychopath again it's a you know not in every situation but you know, just really be careful when you find yourself attracted to these types of people who are giving you this feeling or experience. Because if there isn't like a humility or a humbleness or a realness or a genuineness with them, it's moving really quickly and you feel like kind of like 
you're losing control really quickly early in the relationship, that can be a sign that you're dealing with a narcissist or psychopath. So just begin to kind of be careful. Um, maybe you're dating right now, maybe you're trying to date. Um, you know, these are some really good self-preventative um, things, ideas, and patterns you can look for. And maybe, you know, reevaluate the people who you are attracted to. And maybe begin to reevaluate, you know, what you need in your life. And, you know, maybe it doesn't have to be all thrills and hot and heavy, like, in the beginning of the relationship. You know, you might find that that oftentimes is an experience with a member of the opposite sex that grows in time. You know, I mean, what's, what's the saying, uh, easy come, easy go? Think of that when it comes to, you know, your relationships and what's really going to work out for you and your best interests now and in the long run. Peace and harmony here with you here today. Please subscribe and share for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support. Make it a beautiful day. Peace out.